The untold truth of ignoring older women. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I just can't see the value in dating older women seriously, and I don't understand why men go after these women looking to have a serious relationship. To me, there is no value there, and unless this individual lost their husband by some accident or unforeseen illness, they are not relationship or marriage material. Let me explain. How I look at it is an older woman is someone that was once young that had all the advantages in dating to choose a good partner, and she basically had the world in the palm of her hand in terms of mate selection, especially if she was gorgeous. You know that she had offers for many men from the age of 18 to her current age, and you're telling me that she could not lock down one man. I want you guys to really sit down and think about it and tell me if that alone isn't a huge red flag. The equivalent for men would be a man that started out in life with wealthy parents that gave him all the opportunities he needed to make himself successful, and at the end of it, he's homeless and a drug addict. You see what I mean? So when I see an older woman who doesn't have a man and is still looking for love, my immediate instincts tell me that she has poor decision-making skills and is not serious about life. Because I want you guys to remember that women are not dumb, and they know from an early age that unless they are going to be rich, they need a man or children when they are older to take care of them. You will hear some women say that their kids are their retirement plan or they need a man that can take care of them, and this is something that every woman knows from an early age. So when you see a woman knowing the harsh reality that's ahead if they have nobody to take care of them financially, waste their best years instead of getting a man and having kids. You can tell off rip that they are not serious about life. Then you have to think to yourself, what was she doing the entire time she was single? Have you guys ever sat down and thought about what your girl has been doing from age 18 until you met her? Because I know for a fact that she was not at home learning new recipes and how to cook. I know for a fact that she was not reading books on how to be a good wife to her husband. I know she was not waiting on you to show up while getting all the skills that she needs to keep you around. Do you know what she was doing? She was letting dudes beat up her wet vice grip for free without getting anything out of it. Some of these women had sugar daddies that were paying to do nasty and debaucherous things to her that, if you knew, you would never look at her the same. And some of these women were messing around with other women and doing things she would never let you do. That was what she did throughout her younger years and got nothing of long-term value or benefit out of it. And you're telling me that I'm supposed to be the one to take her seriously when she did not take her own life serious. You guys really have to think long and hard before choosing a mate because it is the most important decision you will make while you're on this planet. Trust me, it's not what career field you're going to venture into. It's not the type of car you want to drive or what you want your first house to look like. It will be deciding who you want to bring into your life and making a legal contract that benefits them and penalizes you if you guys can't stay together. I don't know how you guys don't see who you select as the mother of your kids or the woman representing you will be the most crucial decision, but you guys flat out take it as a joke. The amount of men that have chosen a bad partner and it ends up costing him everything he worked hard to build, including his family, is everywhere, and you're telling me that you're comfortable rolling the dice on an old leftover skeezer. Like for real? You are going to roll the dice on someone who definitely has a past, has already divorced someone and proved that she will pull the plug on a marriage if she's quote unquote, not happy. She has kids from multiple men. Nobody ever took her seriously enough to commit for a lifetime and she wasted her best years and got nothing out of it, and now all she has to offer is a used-up dried-out piece sleeve that everybody already tested and added mileage to it. You're telling me that's a good deal right there. Who in their right mind goes to a car dealership and overlooks all the partially used in new cars to buy a vehicle that is not safe for driving on the roads? That's how I look at dating older women, and I'm not saying that these young women out here nowadays are any better. Many of them are done by age 22 with the number of dudes running through them and hitting Roski. But at least you'll probably get tight, firm skin and looking at varicose veins and stretch marks all day. Let's look at the older women that got divorced, and now they're telling you that they're still good women. Let's break them down. We all know the statistics that most women file for divorce, causing their families destruction and decay. We all know that by now, and if you're clueless that women file for divorce more than men, then I don't know what to tell you. With that said, if she divorced her first or start her husband and ran off with his money, then what makes you think that she would never do the same to you? Think about it logically for a second. She tore up her previous family, fought her husband in court over what she believes she's entitled to and took away their kids to get child support and gave him pure hell without a shred of sympathy. Do you think she would never do that to you after going through that process? She literally went into the courtroom and lied to get more money like a blood-sucking parasite. And here you come, Mr. Simp. She would never do that to me. Our love is like no other love. If you ever utter those goofy ass words out of your mouth, then I'll have no care or sympathy when she bends you over in the courtroom with a strappy and hits you from the back without applying any lube.
because the proof that she's not marriage or relationship material is right in your face, the red flags are waving in the breeze, and you're telling me you can't see them, or you're choosing not to see them. Look, if a woman ever divorces her husband who was not physically and emotionally abusing her or puts her husband or baby daddy on child support, then she cannot be taken seriously to form any legal contract. She's already shown you she'll pull the rug from under you and use men to get money out of them, so why would you sign up for that? If that was a man that screwed over his business partner for money, you would never trust him, but when it comes to women, all common sense goes right out the window. The things that you men let women get away with, you would never let a man do you like that. Just because she has a warm, wet hole, you simps make women rip you to shreds and destroy your future. And the worst part is that hole was used and abused by multiple other men. But here you come, overlooking all red flags just to push and shove what other men pounded out and left their genetic material into. I don't know what to tell you because you guys are the ones making the decision even after you got burnt once or twice. I look at any woman that has destroyed her family as either practice or a no-go zone. Sure. You can beat up that pea sleeve, put the banana up the tailpipe, and stretch it out as much as you want, but I would never commit to someone who destroyed her family because of the love of money, and destroy the like button for me so this video will be pushed to more men. Let's see if we can surpass our 600 likes goal. You guys killed it on the last two videos, so I know 600 will be like taking pea sleeve from an older woman, it's too damn easy. However, it can always get worse because some men are sleeping with another man's wife who wants to take her away from her husband. Now, I don't know if those guys are just stupid or have no sell any control, but men delete other men over their wives and girlfriends all the time. And the worst part is one or both men lose their lives and the woman gets to go ride another man's digging stick and move on with life. This happens all the time. So you're willing to put your life on the line over some old broad that couldn't keep her marriage vows and give her husband what he signed up for. Then monkey sims take it a step further by wanting to take the man's wife away from him and act as though what she did to her husband, she would never do to him. If that doesn't scream delusional, I don't know what will. If she cheats on her husband or boyfriend with you, what makes you believe that when you commit to her, she won't do the same to you? Women who cheat automatically should be seen as not wife or relationship material. Period. I don't care how good that pea sleeve is or how nasty she is in bed. Once she has a history of backstabbing her partners, you should automatically disqualify her or put her in the practice category. But no, you guys keep looking for love in all the wrong places. Speaking of places, what place in your life should older single women be? The straight truth is that she gets disqualified. Meaning there is no interaction or possible future between you guys, or she's practice, meaning she's just to be used to bust a nut, and that's it. See, you guys forget that older women only have a few decent years left, and very soon, they'll be looking like a granny, so there isn't much long-term value. And not only that, if you decide to overlook all red flags and decide to jump in, you have money to pay for in vitro fertilization if she's not experiencing menopause. Are you willing to get divorced and lose everything all over again? What if you knock her up and she praying mantis you? You'll have to pay more than a decade worth of child support. It's not a game out here, guys. I wish you would understand that. Single older women are not to be taken seriously because they wrecked their lives, and now they want you as the cleanup man to save and rescue them from their bad decisions. They are incapable of loving you, and all they're looking for is to use you for a kid or stability and have a retirement set aside. That's it, gents. So if you guys want to play that game, then go ahead, but just understand that you're going to get screwed. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So what's the solution or the best decision to make when dating older women? Well, you can always ignore these older women and date younger women, or stop dating and go your own way or monk mode, that's the safest option. The next best thing would be to only use these people as practice and don't commit. If she's still seeing her period, put on a rubber and do not risk impregnating these women. If she gets a baby out of you, then she is going to put you on child support, especially if she's a straggle or hood rat. You need to understand how valuable your seed is. A woman can get big money for 18 to 21 years in America, depending on where you live, just by you busting up in her walls. Stop and think about that for a minute. So men pay hundreds of thousands to a woman just because he left his seed inside her and it grew. The last option is to date younger women, pray you don't knock her up, and make sure you don't commit. You'll get more value for cheaper dating younger women over older women any day of the week. A used-up 40-year-old woman costs way more money than a used-up 25-year-old woman. For older women, your money goes to her preserving what little beauty or lack thereof she has left. While for younger women, it goes towards maintenance of their body and highlighting their beauty. So which would you prefer, 
fresh meat that tastes delicious or preserved meat that is all dried out and doesn't taste anywhere near as good. The choice is yours to make, gents, but I would just ignore older women and either go monk mode or sleep with younger women. That's what I've been doing up to this point, and I won't change that anytime soon. So choose wisely because the wrong decision can cost you everything. Share the video with someone who needs this message. The goal is to save one man per video, so help me to do that brothers. And if you want to donate and help us out, the links to our Cash App and PayPal are in the description box below. Also, I did some cold videos a while back in our fourth season of RP content on the channel. Click and watch season 4 right now and get those hard-hitting facts that will make you realize relationships aren't worth it.